Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So as we are, we have started the topic of data storage and in our previous video we have seen the file formats. What are the different file formats that are being used in order to store different file types, right? We have seen that and now in this video I am going to see a particular file format that is MIDI. It stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, right? I am going to see it in a little detail so that you can understand this particular file format, right? So let's begin with it. The very first thing is, okay, I am dividing this particular topic into five sections so that we can easily understand it. Okay. Let me give you an introduction of MIDI. After that, we will see what the MIDI commands are, right? Then we are going to see the file extension that is required to recognize this particular format files, MIDI files. Then we have, we should know that how you can play uh, these particular files, play MIDI files through your computer right and finally we are going to see the size or the comparative size with other musical uh, file formats right so this is how i have divided this particular topic midi right um, file format so introduction first of all this particular format is basically used to store music files or we can say sound or sound files right this is very important this is this particular file format is used to store music files right secondly we must know that this is very important point we must know that in these particular files midi files we are not going to store music itself right we are not going to store the music or the notes, right? In instead of that, we are going to store the information related to that particular music or the instructions. Instructions or the commands that is going to tell you that how you are going to play, how to play the music. music right this is very important point for this midi format this point says that you are not going to store the music in this particular file instead of that you are going to store the instructions or the commands that will tell you that how you are going to play the particular music right you are going to have different commands in this MIDI file right now moving towards MIDI commands so for example I have a particular file this is my MIDI file right so in this file I am having different commands these commands are basically known as MIDI commands right now let's see what these particular commands specify or what is the information that is being hidden in this MIDI command. Okay, well the MIDI command is basically a sequence of bytes, right? It has a sequence of bytes and each byte has its own meaning. Let me tell you some of the bytes that is being part of this MIDI command. The very first byte is the status byte, right? The status byte tells the MIDI device that what function is to be performed. It tells that what is the function that needs to be performed, function to be performed, right? Similarly, we have pitch byte, another byte that is called pitch byte. This byte specifies that what note to be to be played note to be played what is the musical note 
that you need to be play right so this is my pitch byte it specifies the note that is needed to be played and i have another byte that is my velocity byte the velocity byte specifies the intensity or how loud you are going to how loud or how intense intensely you are going to play play node a particular musical note in what intensity this particular note needs to be played right so this is the different bytes uh we all we also have some another bytes that are having some different information related to the music right so these are some of the bytes or if we are we can have different examples of midi file let's have some of the examples so that it can be more clear so let's suppose i have an example like key on off so this particular midi command is going to uh, specify that when a particular note or when a particular key is to be played or when it needs to be stopped right sorry it is not key on off it is basically note on off right this basically indicates that um a key has been pressed or released to produce or stop a particular musical note right it is basically it indicates that a muse a key that is uh, it can be a key in a electronic keyboard right so a key is pressed or released it is going to indicate that released when a key in the electronic keyboard is pressed it means the note is uh, produced right produce note and when it is released it means you are going to stop the produce note stop producing note right so this is one of the uh, midi command that is note on off that indicates that the key is pressed which means that the note needs to be produced and the, uh, it also indicates that the key is released or to stop that particular note right another example is key pressure okay this key pressure what it indicates this indicates that how hard the key has been pressed right in order to show the loudness of the musical note right so it specifies the um hardness of the key how hard a key has to be pressed right has been pressed and in terms of music what it specifies that um how hard or how loud the note loud the note to be produced produced right so this is the example of midi commands right so uh moving towards file extension okay the file extension that is used in order to recognize this midi file format is .mid right dot mid is the file extension for midi files right okay now moving towards this one that is how you are going to play midi files right this is the important thing to be understood okay for example in order to interact or in order to transmit the data that is in midi files to a particular device like i have a musical instrument i have a guitar right so how this device is going to interact with this musical instrument right first of all here i must need uh, an midi channel through this particular channel i can interact 
between my computer and a MIDI device. This is my MIDI device, any musical device, right? So I need a channel and for this MIDI channel, I need a protocol. It has, it's, it specifies a communication protocol that is MIDI protocol. Through this protocol, I am going to interact, right? So, uh, coming back to the channel, I am having 15 channels from 0 to 15. I am, sorry, I am having 16 MIDI channels um, through which I can interact with different MIDI machines, right? In my computer system, I am going to have 16 MIDI channels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? I have various MIDI channels from 0 to 15 and each particular channel through each channel I am going to interact with a particular MIDI device, right? Let's suppose this is my device 1. This is my channel interacting with some device. This is my channel 2 interacting with some another device. This is my channel 3 interacting with some another musical device. This is my channel 4 interacting with some other musical device, right? So these are, I can have 16 MIDI channels to interact with uh, different MIDI devices. And each channel is going to follow MIDI communication protocols to interact, right? So the MIDI file is stored here in the computer, right? I am having my file over here in this storage and I am going to transmit the data or the file to this particular device so that it can play the music, right? So through this channel, I am going to transmit the data that is inside the file, right? One important thing here is that the file, the MIDI file, that is present here in computer has no meaning. Why? Because it is in a raw, raw form, right? MIDI file in its raw form has no meaning or it cannot be recognized by a particular MIDI device. So in order to create a meaning or to make it, make it recognized by a device, we need a sequence a sequencer software over here, right? We need a software that is a sequencer software. This particular software is going to help this device to recognize the MIDI file, right? That is in the raw form in this particular device in my computer and to recognize it, uh, to recognize it as a musical file, I need a sequencer software here, right? So it is important thing now. I hope that after that, uh, when the data is being transmitted to this device, then this device is going to interpret the data the, and then going to produce a particular music that is being instructed uh, in the MIDI file, right? So this is how we are going to play MIDI files um, on different MIDI devices, right? Through our computer. Okay, the last thing is that what about the size of MIDI file? So here I must mention that since MIDI files are not storing the sound itself or the music itself, it is just storing the commands or the instructions that tells us that how you are going to produce the music, right? That's why that is the reason that we are having a very little storage area in order to store these particular files, right? We don't need a very big storage for storing these kind of MIDI files. Instead of that, because it is not storing the sound, right? It is just storing the instructions that are helpful or that helps us to play the music. That's why I am having a very, I just need a very little storage or very little size for these files to be stored. Comparatively, for example, if I am having a 100 MB of MP3 file, an MP3 file, a music file is something that 
is storing the music itself, right? So if I am having 100 MB MP3 file, so if it is converted into MIDI format, right, MIDI file, then it, it just need 10 KB of a space to be stored, right? Why? Because again, the reason is uh, has already been explained due to the fact that you are not storing music right in this file but instead of that you are just storing the instructions or the commands that are helpful to pro produce the music right so that's why you just need a very little space comparatively to some file formats like mp3 that is that are storing music right so it's a very useful thing for MIDI files and that's why these file formats are very very much appreciated and uh, to be used in a device that has lower storage area right for example a cell phone a mobile phone so if I am storing ringtones in a mobile phone then since a mobile phone does not have a very very big storage that's why I prefer MIDI format to store music files in this mobile device right so this is all for this particular video I hope that the MIDI format file format is clear to you and Again, if you have any queries, any questions related to it, you can comment below. You can approach me, right? I am definitely going to give the answers for that. Thank you so much for watching it. In the next video, we are going to see another file format that is JPEG, right? It's a file format to store images, JPEG. So keep watching, stay tuned, stay connected and like, subscribe and share the channel with other students as well, right?